is seker die meest herkenbare katras wat daar is, maar meeste mense weet nie dat die sia meeste kat in verskillende kleere en patrone voorkom nie. Lucy, explain to me the different colors and patterns. Right, I'll start with the Siamese. The Siamese is the cat that's got the points. The points being the dark ears, the tail, the mask, and the little legs that are darker than the rest of the body, which is paler. And of course, they've got blue eyes. The Oriental, on the other hand, have got the same colors that the Siamese has got, but it's, it's over the whole body. So whether it's a pattern or whether it's a color, it's covering the whole body. Normally they've got green eyes, they also have blue eyes, and of course then there's the odd eye. And then the different colors of coat? Right, at the different colors you start off with, with the oriental is the black, which is equivalent Siamese as the seal point, which is the darkest. And then you get um, the chocolate, you get blue, you get lilac, you get red, cream, caramel, cinnamon. And of course you get the tabbies, you get the torties, you get Literally, yeah. literally hundreds and hundreds of different patterns and color combinations. The Siamese never used to look like this though. This is a modern look for them. Yes, yes. The Siamese originally in the 1800s was a big chunky cat with also the points, but they were chunky, they had this kink tail, they were squint and little teeny weeny ears and well totally different to what we have now. What should their body conformation look like now? The body conformation is slender and elegant and long leg, long tail, lovely pointy face, lovely oriental eyes. How big are they? They're not very big cats, they're fairly medium size, but of course they're nothing like the, the larger breeds and they're not a tiny little breed either, so they're very nice and medium. Just for interest sake, do you know who decided that they had to change the look? I think it has happened over the years, you know, people have changed the look of all different breeds and have changed the way people like them. And it just happens that way, I think. You know, genetically they have a, a new kitten or cat that's born with a, perhaps bigger ears and they say, oh, they like that look. <laughs> yeah. You know, and they go from there. Being a judge, you know all types of breeds, but what made you choose this breed? Well, if I had to tell you how I chose the breed, I remember 14 years old, I was horse riding and my friend who owned the stables had a Siamese, I'd never seen a Siamese before. It was this huge, chunky, squint-eyed, kinked cat and I was horrified when it went wow. <laughs> it's so terribly cute and I just loved it and then when I was married and I was my you know, I had a couple of kids. Then my husband bought me a Siamese. From there it started, and in fact, I bred my very first litter in 1973. What is the typical Siamese personality like? <laughs> Busy. <laughs> Busy, in your face, lovable, affectionate, fun, and full of nonsense occasionally. Do they differ from the Oriental? No, not really. Yet some people say the Oriental is slightly more intelligent, but they're super intelligent and chatty. I've heard that they can make quite a noise. Is this true? No, no, they don't make a noise. They, make, they have a great conversation. Some people, however, might consider it to be noise. They look used to little squeaks from the normal cats, but a Siamese makes a good owl. <laughs> Are they healthy cats? Yes, generally they're healthy, but if they are fed properly and taken care of properly, obviously they have to see the vet when necessary for the boosters and for their teeth and, uh, and they've got to be fed the correct food. So otherwise we have kidney problems. But then I think that's also across the board cat wise that all get problems if they're not fed properly and looked after properly. Being a judge, you obviously know all the breeds, but what made you choose the Siamese and Oriental? I enjoy it. Their personality and their looks. I love the, the elegance and I love the, the no nonsense attitude that they have. They're lovely. Very, and they've, of course, they're very people orientated. They love people. I think Hulle is prachtig. And as jij hou van a cat that met jou a gesprek kan voer, dan is die Siamese a goeie keuze.